Hello, friends. Welcome back to my channel. So I am just wrapping up week four of my project to lose belly fat. And my project is not done <laughs> um, because as we all know, it takes a while. It takes a while to, to get the results that you want. It takes a while to lose weight, lose fat. So four weeks is not, you know, that's not the end. So I'm going to keep going with this. However, things um, are, were a little bit different this week because I think just because it was a busy week, um, you know, last week was a holiday week and last week was insanely busy. And then this week, just coming back from the holiday, just trying to get back in the groove of normal stuff. <laughs> um, I don't know. It was just a really busy week. And so I didn't really do very well with my vlogs this week. So I, I kind of, I made it through like Tuesday and then I fell off track. I'm not off track on my plan, but just off track trying to video all of my food and my workouts. <laughs> um, sometimes it gets a little overwhelming trying to video everything, like take pictures of everything, video everything, vlog everything. And I just, I think just got a little bit overwhelmed this week and I just stopped doing it. So, <laughs> um, <clears throat> so my, my video for week four is going to be a little bit different. I am basically just going to give you an overview of how the week went. Um, I did do a Sunday meal prep video. I am going to share that with you. And actually I might just go ahead and share that now. And then I'll talk a little bit more after the meal prep session to tell you how things went after that. So um, Sunday is kind of the day one of each week is how I've been doing this. So um, Sunday's meal prep day, it's my day to kind of get ready for the week and figure out my plan. So um, I decided for my meal prep Sunday for this week to try a new recipe. And so um, let me just stop right here and I'll share that video with you. And it's <laughs> really one of the only videos that I did through the week. I did kind of do, um, I think maybe Monday and part of Tuesday, I did vlog my food. But since I stopped doing it the rest of the week, I'm just not even going to share those because I'm just not. <laughs> Um, so anyway, let me show you my meal prep um, video from Sunday, and then I'll come back in and we'll talk a little bit. Okay, workout's done, shower's done, I'm dressed, I'm ready to do my meal prep. It's going to be really, really fast, easy, simple meal prep. Um, it's a brand new recipe that I found online, and I've never made it before, but I'm pretty excited about it. It is like a... Um, like a Greek chicken casserole type of dish. So um, first of all, I have got two pounds of chicken in here. And I know you can't really see, but I also have um, four tablespoons of butter in there. And I'm going to go ahead and just cook this on the stove. And then while that is cooking, then I'm going to mix up all of the other ingredients. Okay, I've got the oven preheating to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. I've got the chicken um, cooking in the butter on the stove. And so I'm going to mix the rest of the ingredients in a bowl and then just mix it up. So I'm just gonna go over the ingredients that I'm, that I'm going to be putting in there. So um, the first thing is I am going to have two tablespoons of bals balsamic vinegar um, and then um, three tablespoons of lemon juice and then I have two containers of feta cheese um, these are 12 ounce containers so I've got two of those um, and then I've got Kalamata olives um, I, these are in a in a jar like this because I had bought a really really big barrel of them um, and there's they're not just Kalamata um, olives. There's green olives and black olives in here too, but it's really good. So I'm just going to do two cups of those. Um, and then I'm just going to mix it all together and I'm going to add a can of um, tomatoes. And that's it. That's like super simple. <laughs> so I'm going to mix all of that up while the chicken is cooking.
okay the chicken is almost done cooking so what I'm gonna do next is put the chicken into this bowl and then I'm going to shred it with these awesome little I don't know they're like shredding scissors that I got from Pampered Chef shred the chicken up gonna mix it in with the rest of the mixture and then I'm going to put it in a pan and bake it. Um, so I just have just a regular pan that I sprayed with, um, with some avocado oil spray. And so I'm um, going to dump all of that in there and then just bake it for about 25 to 30 minutes. I can't wait to try it. It's going to be so good. It's ready to go in the oven. Um, I think this is gonna be really, really good. I cannot wait to try it. So I'm just gonna put it in the oven, um, bake it for about 25 to 30 minutes, and then I will divide it into um, like individual serving size containers for the week. And then I'm going to eat some for my first meal of the day. Can't wait. Okay, I am ready to taste it. I am so excited. It looks good. It smells good. Um, so it, I divided it up into eight servings. And so I'm going to eat one serving now. And then that leaves me seven servings for the rest of the week. So, um, oh my gosh. Yum. I'm so excited. Mmm. Mm. It was really good. Really good. This might have to um, be added to my list of favorite recipes to make. And so easy too. And I actually think, sorry, I don't want to talk with my mouth full. Um, it would, you know, a fast, a really fast, easy way to make it would also be to just use canned chicken. It would like make it so super simple. So anyway, this is my lunch today. I might have another serving for dinner tonight. Um, who knows? It's so good. I am definitely making this again. Okay, so that was my meal prep Sunday. Um, that dish was amazing. It was so delicious. Um, I love olives. I love all olives, like any kind of olives. I love feta cheese. I just love the flavor combination. Oh my gosh, I just, I love it. It was so delicious. Um, <clears throat> however, I had some issues with it during the week and I'll get to that here in just a minute. But I just wanna tell you, I tried really hard to do another type of um, another type of intermittent fasting this week. And I have tried this before and failed. And I really, really wanted to succeed this time. I, I struggle with fasting. I mean, I wish I was someone who could do fasting. But anyway, I decided I was going to try to do the 5-2 method of fasting this week. What that means is for two days out of the week, you only eat 500 calories. And then the rest of the week, you eat your normal calories. That was, that was what I wanted to do. <laughs> and so my plan was that Monday and Thursday were going to be my two days that would be the 500 calorie days. And then the rest of the week, I would just eat normal calories. Um, so I kicked off Monday doing pretty good thinking I am determined to do this. I am going to fast until dinner time Then I'm going to eat my 500 calories and then, you know, it's going to be awesome. <laughs> and so did pretty good all day for lunch. I drank some chicken broth. Um, I kind of sipped on black coffee and electrolytes all morning. And then um, I made it to dinner time. And for dinner, I decided to do eggs and oysters, which you guys see me eat that a lot because for one thing, I love eggs because they're so good and they have so much nutrition in them. It's like the perfect food with protein and fat and all of the 
nutrients. It's just eggs are amazing. Um, so I eat them a lot. I try to eat oysters once a week. I love the canned smoked oysters. Oh my God. They're so good. I wish I could eat them every day, but you're not supposed to eat them every day because I think there's something with, um, like the zinc, like you can get too much zinc and then it affects how your body absorbs other nutrients or something. Um, whatever the reason, um, I just know that you're not supposed to eat them every day, but it's okay to eat them, um, every one or two, like once, once a week or once every two weeks or something like that. But anyway, I try to eat a can of smoked oysters once a week. And so that was my dinner for Monday night. And it kept, it kept me right, right under my 500 calorie goal for that day. Um, my problem is the reason I can't do like really long fasting is because when I am hungry, I can't sleep. And so when I'm really, really hungry, my sleep is terrible. And that is kind of what happened to me Monday night. So <clears throat> it was like, I don't know, later in the evening, we were watching TV and I was starving. Like it did not matter what I drank. It didn't matter what I did. I was starving. And so I thought, well, I'm going to go try to find like the lowest calorie, low carb food that I can find in the house. <laughs> and I ended up eating some green beans um, because they're really low calorie, they're low carb, they're keto friendly. Um, and I thought it's going to put me a little bit over 500 calories, but not much. It was like 540 or something like that. So I was okay with it. I ate my green beans, um, did not help me at all. I was still starving. <laughs> And so I was like, no, I'm going to, I'm going to do this. And so that night was one of the worst nights of sleep I've had in a really long time. I was restless all night. I was so hungry. I kept waking up hungry. I was so starving. It was, it was bad. So anyway, <laughs> um, so then Tuesday, I ended up eating some of the casserole that I made on Sunday. It was delicious. Um, I'm trying to remember now because it feels like it was so long ago. It was just a few days ago, but um, a lot happens throughout the week and you just kind of forget things. Um, but I think I ate the, I think I ate the Greek chicken um, dish for lunch and for dinner. And it was, it was delicious. Um, Tuesday night, I had really bad heartburn during the night and I thought that was weird. And I didn't even think that it could have been from the casserole. Um, I just thought, oh, I must have, I don't know, must have drank something that I don't know. I, I, you know, sometimes I drink Zevia, I drink my electrolytes and I have been taking my supplements to help with the belly fat thing. And, um, I just thought, well, maybe, I don't know, maybe one of those things has caused me to have heartburn. So I just kind of got through the night. Then Wednesday I, um, had more of the, the chicken the Greek chicken for lunch. And by the afternoon I was in pain. Like, I don't know if you've ever had painful heartburn, but it is like, I just wanted to cry. It was so painful. And for me, I already have issues with my esophagus and my stomach because I had years of migraine headaches where I would take lots and lots of ibuprofen. It caused erosion in my esophagus and in my stomach. And so I've already got, you know, that issue going on anyway. And then I've got the reflux. And so I haven't had issues with reflux for a long time, aside from a couple of weeks ago when I made chili using <laughs> a chili packet that doesn't <clears throat> obviously agree with me. So anyway, um, I started thinking, well, maybe it's this, this um, Greek chicken casserole. And I think what it is, I think it was the feta cheese. I think it was just too much of it because it was, I mean, cause I've been eating olives for a long time and they don't bother me. Um, I eat chicken doesn't bother me. Um, sometimes I do the tomatoes. They don't bother me. And the only thing I could think of that, the, the only thing that was new, um, that I don't normally eat was the feta cheese. And there was so much of it in that recipe. So if you, you if you watched the meal prep section of this video, I had two big containers of feta cheese that were in there. And when you eat it, you can really taste it. It's delicious. <laughs> it is so delicious. Um, but I think it was the feta cheese that was causing me to have heartburn. So 
I thought, well, I probably better take a break from this for a few days and then just see how things go. And I ended up that night, I still like all afternoon that evening into the night, I had painful, painful heartburn. Um, it finally went away, but it was very, very, it was bad. It was really bad. So the next day, um, I just ate ground beef and eggs. Like that was it. I did have some of my seaweed. Um, you know, I've been eating some of the, the little seaweed snacks that are like flavored teriyaki, wasabi flavored ones. I eat those to help me with my iodine intake. Um, so I snacked on those too, but for the most part, just ate um, ground beef and eggs and then just drank my electrolytes and stuff that I normally drink and Zevia and my black coffee and did my supplements and I didn't have any issues with heartburn. So it was interesting that both days that I ate the, the Greek chicken dish, um, both of those days I had extremely painful heartburn. So I was very sad when I discovered this because it was so good, um, but I can't eat it. I mean, I can, but I'll be in pain and it's not worth it. So um, the rest of the week, I went back to just eating ground beef and eggs and my seaweed snacks. <laughs> um, and then cheese, also cheese. Cheese is always like a staple in my day. I have string cheese and little cheese snacks in the refrigerator that I frequently eat. So, so that has been how the rest of the week has gone. And it, it's better. Um, my heartburn issues are gone and I actually feel better. Like by the end of the week, I was feeling back to my normal self again, because, you know, during the holidays, I ate lots of carbs, drank lots of alcohol, and I, it took me a while to really recover from that. So, um, yeah, by the end of the week, I felt so much better. And now I feel, I feel great. So what that tells me is I probably need to stop doing so much experimenting with new foods and new recipes. And I just need to go back to eating the things that I know make me feel my best. And that is meat, eggs, cheese. Um, I'm not saying I'm going like strict carnivore, but I'm going to go back to being more ketovore, very meat based, um, a few vegetables here and there, but, um, I don't think I need to be experimenting for a while. I just need to focus on what I know works for me. So going forward for December, so I'm going to continue my, um, my project to lose belly fat into December, um, because it's an ongoing, it's an ongoing project. It doesn't happen overnight and it doesn't happen in one month. So I'm going to continue with this. Um, so my plan is that I'm going to continue with my calorie restriction. Um, I'm going to continue being in a calorie deficit throughout the week. I'm going to continue, continue following a keto cycling eat eating plan. <laughs> um, so basically throughout the week, I'm going to eat strip keto. I will say more keto vor or keto carnivore, still paying attention to my calories. And then um, on Saturdays, I'm still doing the keto cycling. So I'm still doing a carb day on Saturdays and increasing my calorie intake on Saturdays. Um, so that is kind of my focus for my food for December. Very meat-based. I'm probably going to be eating a lot of just ground beef and eggs because that just makes me feel so good. <laughs> um, I'm still going to continue doing my seaweed snacks. I'm still going to continue with my supplements still going to continue doing my electrolytes and my, my drinks that I do. Um, if you've missed any of that, go back and watch my introduction video to the project fat lose belly fat introduction video, because I kind of talk about all the supplements and the drinks and all the things. I'm not going to go over all of that again, because I've like talked about it so much. Um, but I'm going to continue doing those things. I'm going to try to do intermittent fasting every day as long as I can. You guys know I struggle with fasting, but I'm going to try to do 16 hours a day if I can. But, you know, sometimes I'm just starving. I just can't stand it. <laughs> and so I don't force it, but I'm going to do what I can. Um, and then as far as my exercise for December, I'm switching it up a little bit. So I have been very, very focused for a long time just on weightlifting. 
weightlifting and strength training because those are the things I enjoy the most. Um, however, I think that while I am trying to lose belly fat, I think I need to incorporate more cardio. So I hate cardio. <laughs> I hate cardio. Um, but I can do hard things. I can. So, um, for December, my, my plan at this time, and you know, I, I sometimes change my plan throughout the month <laughs> if, if it's not working for me. But as of right now, my plan for December is I'm going to exercise, exercise six days a week. Rest day is always on Friday. I'm going to do, um, just two days of weightlifting. That's going to be on Saturdays and Sundays. I'm going to do arms one day, legs the other day. I'm just going to do two days of weightlifting. And then the rest of the week, I am going to focus on cardio. Um, so even on the days that I do the weightlifting, I'm still going to do cardio on those days. And that's why I'm making those on the weekends because it'll be kind of a more of a workout. It'll be cardio, weightlifting, and then sitting in the infrared sauna. And then the other days of the week that I work out is going to be cardio for 30 minutes and then sit in the infrared sauna for 30 minutes. And so that's my plan for December. Um, and if you, you know, if you need help, like figuring out a workout plan, I have, I have an online workout library, which is where I get all of my workouts from. There are cardio workouts on there. There's dance workouts. There's like kickboxing and stuff like that, that make cardio fun. So I might be doing some of those once in a while, but I have a treadmill and I have a bike at home. So I have the advantage that I can do those if I don't want to do anything else. Um, however, there are tons and tons of different cardio workout videos on my workout library. So you can find that down below. I'm going to, like I always, I will share all of my links down below. Um, there's weightlifting workouts. There's any kind of workout you can possibly think of on there. So, um, you know, if you're thinking about trying to start exercising and you, you know, you don't know what to do and you don't have access to a treadmill and you can't afford a gym membership, then, um, maybe consider looking into the online workout library that I do because it averages out to just $15 a month, which is not anywhere near what a gym membership would cost. Um, so that's my plan, my workout plan for, um, for December. And if you've been watching my other videos or following me, you know that I struggle with back pain. Um, some days are really hard. Some days are easier. Sometimes I just have to modify my workout. So I just take it day by day and see how my back is feeling. Um, and then let's see. So I'm going to continue taking all of the supplements that I've been taking. Um, and I don't know, I'm going to, I'm not sure how I'm going to proceed with doing my weekly updates. So I would love to know your thoughts. So um, because I feel like sometimes when I do a week long vlog of every single day, it ends up being a huge long video that lasts over an hour. And so I'm trying to decide how I should proceed with my update videos every week. Um, and I would love if you would drop a comment down below and just let me know what you would prefer. So like, do you just want to see my meal prep videos? Do you just want to see my daily food vlogs? Do you want to see my daily workout vlogs? Do you want to see, continue seeing daily vlogs of everything, like daily vlogs of all the stuff, my supplements, my food, my, my workouts, like what, what is most helpful and what is most interesting for you? Like, what do you want to see? I'm just trying to figure out like, maybe, I don't know, maybe one week I'll just do a meal prep video. And then one week I'll share a food vlog, or I don't know. I'm just trying to figure out how I should proceed going forward. So any input you have, I would appreciate drop a comment down below. Let me know what you would like to see more of. Um, if you think that the vlogs I've been doing are fine and they're long, but they're interesting, then I can keep doing those. Um, yeah, just let me know. Just drop a comment down below and let me know um, how would you how would you like to see my updates going forward? All right. So um, as far as my results, my week four results, I'm going to wait until tomorrow 
I'm going to do one final weigh in one final photo session tomorrow um, with the final results from the the four weeks and then I'll let you know. Um, so I know that it's not as much as I thought it was going to be because of the holiday. So if you remember from my, I think it was my week two video, um, I was down four pounds. I had started it, I think it was 153. I can't remember the exact numbers. It was like 153 something or 152 point something. But anyway, then I got down to 148 and um, I was really excited about that. And then the holiday week happened. And then whenever I, um, whenever I drink alcohol and eat a lot of carbs, my body retains water like crazy. So um, it doesn't seem to be hurting me so much when I have just my one carb day on Saturday my body just bounces back um, pretty well, but it seems like, you know, the holiday week was a big week. I had holiday parties Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Um, and then I think we watched football on Sunday. And so I ended up um, a lot of alcohol and I did have a couple days of eating carbs instead of just one. So it kind of derailed me a little bit. I gained, I gained, probably all of the weight back. Um, and so now, so I did check my weight this morning and I am back down below where I started again, but I'm just not down as far as what I was. And so I want to see, um, I don't know, I just want to do one final check-in tomorrow, but I will say that I, the, the weight is not what matters. What's mattering most to me is when I take my pictures and I can see that my belly is slowly, slowly melting away. Um, I can definitely see a difference from when I started. So that's what that's what I want. That's what matters. Um, you know, if I'm if my weight doesn't change that much, I'm not that sad about that because I I understand body composition and losing fat, gaining muscle, all of that stuff. But um, I'm just. Uh, I don't know. I just want to see a flatter belly. So that's my main goal. So anyway, um, I'm going to stop the video here because I feel like I've just been talking a lot and I know I don't want another huge long hour and a half video. So I'm going to stop here. I will check in with some um, like photos and measurements um, tomorrow and I will share those at the end of this video. So um, all right. If you want to continue to see how this whole project is working out for me and what I'm eating, what I'm drinking, my supplements, my exercise, all that stuff, then be sure to hit the subscribe button, turn on the notifications, and please comment down below and let me know what you want to see more of. What do you want to see more of? What do you want to see less of? Um, I just, I just want to know going forward. I'm just not sure how to how to proceed with my my update videos. So anyway, I will see you next week. Thank you.